All right, guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to a brand new video. And you might have known that I wouldn't have been able to put Celeste down. We are back with a bonus episode for the Chapter 9 DLC. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to come back and explore this a little bit more. The reason being there is one more achievement we haven't found called WOW. And that is to find the Moonberry. I know that much. Um, so what I want to do in this kind of episode is two things. I want to open up debug mode and just sort of explore the map, the, the maps, so to speak. So that we can kind of uh, take a look, see if there's any like sneaky hidden checkpoints anywhere. Um, and uncover any secrets that there might be. Um, secondly, I alluded to in the final screen in that like five hours of playing whatever it was, playing the final screen. I said something along the lines of, wouldn't it be cool if, or I wonder if you have to, um, go back through the level once you get to the end. Because um, while we was going through there, obviously there was blocks. And it kind of like looked like normal blocks. And they were kind of a bit out of place in the electric. Um, and I kind of alluded to the fact that once the electric's turned off, maybe we have to go back and, and do something. So I actually want to sort of go to the electric box and see if I can go back to the left rather than going to the right, which is the way that the bird takes me. So debug mode may hopefully help me not have to do that entire screen just to check that. Um, because if there's more on that final screen, that would be absolutely insane. Um, so we've turned on debug mode. If you don't know how to do that, um, you get this little option here on the menu. So you need to go and into your Celeste settings file, which is in your Steam folder. Uh, go into Celeste, go into saves, and then there is a file called settings.celeste, I think it's called. Um, go all the way down towards the bottom of that, open it in like a notepad, notepad++, plus plus. go all the way to the bottom, and there is a, an option that says um, start game in debug or something on that, set that to true, and then you will then get this debug menu here. But um, yeah, let's jump into here and see what uh, we can find in debug mode, shall we? Should be good. Uh, it also gives you access to everything straight away. So simply to access debug mode, hit tab. And already we are greeted with um, something quite interesting. But let, just, just look at this. Look at this in all its entirety. This is the entirety of chapter chapter 9. This is it. This is what it looks like. Oh, hello. Hello. There's lots of sneaky things this oh my goodness I I, I don't want to I don't look at that just yet oh my goodness the elevator music <laughs> the elevator music all right let's go back to the beginning let's start from the beginning so we have actually got something else down here as well we hover over these screens we should be able to find some things we've got checkpoints here all right so they're they're just the ending rooms so you've got in the granny scene and then you've got a room just for the ending cinematic as well but we have debug mode here which is uh, nicely mapped out for us nice and clear that this is we're in debug mode granny's here as well I see you've discovered debug mode. <laughs> yes, we have, Granny. Yes, we have indeed. Okay, so that's okay. So that's a trigger back to the beginning, which would make sense because this is where you start. You come down here, then you get the lightning, and then after so long, um, yeah, the trigger's like here. So once you get there, it throws you back to here. So, uh, all right. That's uh, something interesting we found straight off the bat right there. Um, two rooms here. Oh, okay. So we've already we've already explored this. So there there are two paths. There was top and bottom. And this this top path here, we had to do that um, wave dash with the jellyfish. So yeah, we actually explored both of these paths during our playthrough because it brings you into like the big just before the key room so if you go to the top path you come in through the this little secret entrance here or if you take the other path um you come out uh, in the main bit right yeah then you come to the the, the other bit so yeah that's all right and then that takes you to this um 
quite fantastic here and this was an amazing puzzle i really enjoyed this it was i enjoyed it it was frustrating but i did enjoy it now what's this room here though this room is interesting why would there be a side room here because the bubble is here and the bubble shoots you right up to the top so i don't think we discovered this room possibly um okay we have to do a corner boost probably another corner boost but yeah i don't believe i mean correct me if i'm wrong because it was a long time since we was here in the playthrough but um i don't believe we came past the screen in the um corner boost now let's say I think I'm pretty sure the bubble just takes you straight up the middle though I can't even I can't even remember what was in that so why would there be why would there be this extra room here Can't even do the two. Can't even do the dashes now. Come on, Ark. We've done like hundreds of these throughout the entirety of this chapter nine. Oh, wait. Okay, I need to save my dash. Need to save my dash, I need to get more height. There we go. Alright, so that just takes me there. So. What was. at the top? Okay, so guessing. You probably get to it. Yeah, I guess there's a secret there. Maybe if you, um, maybe if you somehow fail the, if you fail the um, bubble or fall out the bubble, maybe it's a, it's kind of like a replacement strat. Maybe it's quicker. I don't know. I'm pretty sure in my playthrough I went straight up the top, so I don't know. That room's, um, that room's a bit of a mystery to me, to be honest. Uh, what's this here? Oh, okay. So, from the map, it looked like that, that was like some super secret area. But it's the internet cafe, and it's like where the, the blocks are. There's dream blocks here blocking this off. So, uh, yeah, no secrets to be found there. Okay, so there we have the dream block bit yeah we go we go through a dream block there that's how we get through that oh big room here big room with checkpoints what room is this what room is this oh this is the spring room yeah okay so this is the um spring room I can't even remember how I did this now. Like that, that's how I did it. And then we hit that, and then yeah, you have to race the spring down to the bottom. So I'm not going to do that, because that was quite tricky. Let's check out these checkpoints. There's just a checkpoint right on here. Alright, so there's nothing new to discover there. This checkpoint... Is what the hell is this? Oh, okay. Okay, so you may have noticed during my playthrough at times I've called those blocks Kevin Blocks. The reason they're called Kevin Blocks is it's a name that the community gave them because the guy who, the sound engineer guy, his name is Kevin and he did the sound effect for those blocks. So, 
I think this is like a little nod to Kevin. And what's even cooler, I think it's called a spectrograph, where you sound transfers into a picture. I have a feeling that the sound is making the heart. Looking at what's going on the screen and listening in my ears. Maybe I can do some testing. Maybe I can get that sound bite or something and I can test it for myself, but that's pretty cool. So where does that actually bring you? Alright, so you'd um to get to there then normally you would do something like this. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you would get there. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool. Is there anything to the left, to the right? It appears not. Alright, that's a pretty cool discovery. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to do that, though. Just see what we can find. I've got something here. What's this room? Let's have a look here. This is the... Oh, okay. This is the room where we just had to fall. This isn't flying. It's falling. With style. Okay. So that's that room. But what's this bit on the side? Because pretty sure we went... Okay, so we did go all the way to the bottom. Um... Does somebody want to explain this one to me? Because I'm not sure about this. Jeez. I'm not sure about this at all. Unless... Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So there is an advanced movement tech um, used by speedrunners called Demo Dashing. It's basically where you can dash through some spikes because you can get Madeline's hitbox down to like a like really small. You would like dash, but you duck. You do it. It's like a duck and a dash, and then you're that small that you can fit through the, the hitbox. Is that small you can fit through like spike gaps. So I wonder if that's what this is. Um, now looking at how high it is. How much does that actually save, though? So if you could demo dash through there, it drops you out. Let's drop you out, like, directly over this first button, so then you can dash into the double dash, get that button. Okay, so it would be quicker. But, yeah, I can't, I can't demo dash. So nothing that I will be uh, achieving. That's the only thing I can think. That's the only thing that would, would make sense, um, if I'm completely honest. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, okay. So, this, although it appears like a secret, and it sounds like a secret, you actually have to do this to, pro to proceed. The game makes you think that you, uh, you have to go, like, straight up for a start, but um, no. You actually have to find the secret to be able to progress um, at this part. So, uh, yeah, we already found that one. That's all right. This is a uh, mighty big room there, isn't it? Holy crap. One checkpoint here. What's this checkpoint? It's a feather. Okay. That seems like it might just be a... Um, that just seems like it might be a developer checkpoint. Which leads on to the coloured rooms, so... Alright, not much to see there. Man, scrolling through these screens, like... Look at look at them all. They're just, like, all barren. There's nothing there. There's, this is, like... Literally, it's, like, a start and an ending platform. And that's about it. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. This, the final room. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look... At this. I was right. I was right. There's more up here, look. There is things and stuff to do up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are all rooms we have not been into. That looks like that other room. But, man, there... Okay, so... There are quite a few checkpoints here. Did 
Did I just break something? Oh. You can move the levels around. That's interesting. Okay. So. Let's examine these checkpoints. Okay. Not really sure why a checkpoint would be necessary. Unless that's for coming back, perhaps. Alright. So we can get a checkpoint on the electric box. Which is what I wanted. Checkpoint there. Checkpoint there. Okay, see, th there's various checkpoints that you can try various different bits and pieces out. That blocks out of the electric. Okay. Alright, so. While we're still in debug mode. Oh my goodness. It carries on. We're not done with this yet. Oh my goodness. So, the next thing is, I don't think in a normal situation, the jellyfishes would be here. So I need to keep my dash there. Because we have to use the jellyfish. So, yeah, I don't really want to use the jellyfish. But. I have another. I have another predicament here, though. And that is... Does that checkpoint on that electric box... Is it a debug checkpoint? Or is it just... Or is it a regular checkpoint? Because if it's only a debug checkpoint... That would mean... Not only have we got to do all of that that we just did previously... On the, for the last screen in one go... We then also have to do all this extra, potentially. Oh, it's not actually that bad, to be honest. At the minute. Alright, so that's where the stars are, so we know where we are at the minute. I think I need to hit that other fish. So I need to do a diagonal left into that fish. Ah, oh, man, that's not the easiest thing to do there, is it? If I wave dashed off there, maybe? Oh dear, now we're in trouble. Now we go all the way back. Okay, so... What we're going to now need to try is we're going to need to go into normal mode and do this whole screen up to the electric box just when we thought we was done. Do the whole screen up to the electric box and then once we're at the electric box Alright, we did that this time. Excellent. Yeah, so once we're at the electric box, then we need to... Come... Right. Oh my god, I've got to... 
Leave Dash off of there. See whether or not the electric gives us the checkpoint. How am I supposed to do that? Alright, you know what? I don't want to spend any more time doing this on debug. Um, because I know for a fact, if I get a collectible, it won't count in debug mode in my main save file. I'm not even on my main save file. So, I'm going to quit out of debug. And um, I go back into my other file and I get to the electric box and then we'll go from there. So sit tight, guys. Uh, we'll be back momentarily. All right, guys, we have made it back to the electric box. So let's see A, how far we can get on our save file, and B, whether or not if we mess up. Is there a safe spot? There is not. Alright. Back to the drawing board. Back to the electric box we go. Alright, first try on the electric box. First time right back at it. Alright. Ooh. All right. I want stars. that first time that time all right my jellyfish What am I meant to do here? To fall all the way back down to the bottom. I have to. Okay, okay. We did a thing. Oh! Oh! 
this is the checkpoint. Oh my goodness, thank the Lord. checkpoint at least all right so funny but it is no I think my original strat is the best doing that waiting then I have a double dash at like the peak of my jump. Um. Right, that's a fair strat as well. How did I do that before then? Thing about holding on to there as well. Don't run out of stamina because there's crystals right there.
Maybe I can make that. If I was to dash straight up, maybe I can make that. be a lot easier with a wave dash but yeah I'll be honest I'm not really sure how I'm meant to do this last bit here So, I don't know. Could I not just like do a diagonal straight, like a straight Two upright diagonals once I grab that crystal. So maybe it sort of feels like something I could probably do. get to the top bit. Alright, progress. Alright, so what we're going to do here... can we do? Not that.
<clears throat> I think that was close. Man, this is just brutal. Did it. We did it. All right. Where are we going to next? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me? I don't get it. I really don't get it. What? Seriously? Oh boy, what have we got here? Oh boy. We got ice, we got jellyfish, we got double dash crystals. We've got a massive climb, loads of springs. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, where do we start here? Okay, so gotta kind of do. Oh, we can't go back down either. Brutal. Very brutal. Right, I gotta go the other way. I gotta go on the ice block. Why does that use two dashes? Okay. Maybe that's just me failing at inputs.
Okay, so maybe I could just kick off that wall. Alright, so... Yeah, something like that if I could get, like, more height. I need to have a dash there to do that though. Maybe I should have thrown it to there and then gone back again. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, we need to practice this strat a little bit, don't we?
Holy smokes, guys. We have done it. Oh my god, I can't tell you how many hours this has taken me to do that screen. That was absolutely insane. Alright, anyway. Let's grab our berry. Whoa! Yes. Oh, yes. And now my Celeste file, uh, my Celeste game is perfect once again. Alright, so, what does this do now? Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Is it maybe the same cutscene as before? Sorry, I'm Sunday afternoon. Chin chin, here's my gin. Hmm. I know my glass isn't big enough. Alright, so this is probably just the same as it was before. Same as what it was before. All right. Whew. That was something. That scream was something. Yeah, I cut a lot of it. I didn't want to put all you guys through it. So hence why we've got the. Um... Oh my god! Look at oh, look at the deaths. See look. Look at the deaths. There's like nearly 700 more deaths than what I finished the original chapter nine on. That's insane. Anyway, um, I didn't want to put all you guys through that. So uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to go back into debug mode because we need to check out that final screen. Um, I'll explain a bit more about the final screen once I start the recording, but uh, bear with me and we'll uh, jump back in momentarily. All right, guys, so we are back in debug, de 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 debug mode. Let's head on into chapter nine. And zoom all the way out and all the way across to this beast of a level wherever we found it before. All the way over here. So, yeah, I, I alluded to. I alluded to in the previous that um, I asked some questions about this. I, I, I wanted to know whether or not I had found something or. Um, because I hadn't seen anybody mention anything about it. Now, apparently, spoiler alert, this video has been a massive spoiler anyway. Um, you get this ending if you do the golden berry for chapter 9. So you get to the end, you think you're home and free, and then it throws you into this screen as well. Um, but as with the others, if you don't do the screen first time, then you're straight back to the beginning of chapter 9, which is pretty brutal, considering you don't get to see this screen um, before now. But uh, let's have a quick look at it, shall we? I just love this cheesy elevator music. Easy. Uh, all right, so do the dashing. So that's very similar to what we were doing previously. Uh, I want to say previously on like the previous screen that we were just doing uh, for the final uh, Moonberry which I've you know, done a few hundred times I just need to get this frick in um, I need to get the jellyfish before we can actually do anything here Biscuit. I need to hit it from underneath though. I can't hit it from. I can't hit it from. Alright, it's. The, the, the sidewall's curving. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, so then we just do a jump up like that. Like we did before. Uh, 
and hopefully jellyfish will come to the bottom. Like a good little jelly. There's a good little jelly. Oh, there's... Seems like there's quite a lot of um, leniency being given here. Which is quite nice. So that's what I need to do there. All right. It's just about learning. Imagine though, if you've got the gold bear and you got to the screen, then you thought you was home and free. But alas, the game throws you one last curveball, and then you go and mess it up. That would be crazy. Quite good at that, um, like dashing kind of strut. It's close. All right. Oh man. All right. That's the last screen. So close. I had heard though, somebody did say that it's not it's not overly difficult, so um but you can understand why if you've worked all your way up to this point on a goldberry run. Jelly, you're my only hope. Uh, I, if you can hear anything in the background, I do apologize. My daughter is playing Crash Bandicoot, like, like the original Crash Bandicoot from PS1. And like all kids these days, they, they seem to have no patience. Sorry if you are a kid, but yeah, kids don't seem to have patience for games these days. And uh, yeah, I think she'll be here. Man. Maybe if you could skip up that side, maybe. Maybe. Never panic. Mummy to the rescue that time, not Daddy. <laughs> She's doing a boss fight. Or trying to do the boss fight. The first boss fight you get to on Crash Bandicoot. No, my jelly, come back. Do not escape me. Let's try and do this this time. That'd be awesome. Oh, 
I think what I did wrong is I dashed. I should just jump with this. Oof. We made it. Boop, boop, boop. Is that it? Does that take me to the cutscene again? It sure does. So I wonder if there's like some sort of Easter egg like after this screen, once you've got the gold berry or something, that maybe um, you kind of come do that in like this black and whitey styley. But um, yeah, there we go, guys. So that is basically exploring everything that um, this chapter nine has to offer. Um, we got the Moonberry. We played the extra screen. We found a couple of extra bits and pieces as well. Hope you enjoyed this sort of a bonus video. Um, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I appreciate the support. Uh, but yeah, this is the the end, basically, of the main Celeste campaign playlist. Um, thank you for watching. If you have all 32 episodes, um, it's been quite the journey, quite the journey indeed. And um, you know, I'm not going to stop playing Celeste. Celeste is such an awesome game, and um, yeah, I highly recommend people to uh, go and buy it. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome, see ya.